Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to test a variable valve timing solenoid in your vehicle. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what we're talking about here. This is your variable valve timing, sometimes also your oil control valve and solenoid. And these are located usually around your valve cover. On this particular vehicle, which is a Kia, it's located right on top of the valve cover. Sometimes they're on the side or just in front of it, behind it, but they're usually in this vicinity right here. And these things here, they can be problematic when they start to go. Um, you can get different engine codes that can go wrong with them. You can have performance issues and fuel economy issues, sometimes even stalling out if things are really bad. But what we have here is one that we took out. And what we want to do is before we take the time and money to replace it, we want to go ahead and test it. And we want to make sure that it's in fact failed or if it hasn't failed, because if not, then sometimes you can clean it. So we're going to go ahead and do some different tests where we're going to go ahead and we're going to check the power coming into it, make sure it's getting power. We're going to make sure that the valve itself is functioning properly. And we're also going to check the ohms on this thing and just do a visual inspection on it as well and go ahead and test it and see if it is good or not. So let me show you what you're going to need to complete this video. To complete this, what you're going to need is you're going to need a ratchet and then whatever size socket you need for the bolt that's holding your solenoid in, um, onto your vehicle. Then you're going to need some kind of a multimeter, one that can do ohms and also voltage. That way we can test the voltage and also the ohms reading on it. And with those things right there, we're good to go. To start, we're going to go ahead, we're going to put the key in. We're not going to start the vehicle, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn it to power on. There we go. The first test we're going to do is on the harness that connects to the solenoid itself. We're going to go ahead. You have two pins inside. We're going to go ahead and connect our multimeter and make sure that we're getting a voltage reading and to confirm that there is definitely power going into the solenoid itself. Let me go ahead and get my multimeter and we'll connect to it and see what we're getting. We'll go ahead and put it on voltage here at 20. Set that here so you can see it. And if you have alligator clips, that's better. I don't, so I'm just going to go ahead and just use these pins here. Connect here and here. And we're getting 8.6, so we're definitely getting voltage into it. So we know that the current coming in is good. So that's passed. Now let's go ahead and check the solenoid itself. Now on the solenoid itself, where the harness would connect, you also have two more pins right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put 12 volts into it. And then ground it. You can hear it. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to bring it closer. But you'll see it moving. So that's a good sign there. The solenoid is opening and closing as it should. You can hear that. We know that we're getting voltage to the solenoid through the harness. We know that it is responding to the voltage and opening and closing. So that's a good sign. But now we need to check the ohms reading on it to make sure that is that is meeting the specs for this particular one. So let me go ahead and get the multimeter back, set the ohms so we can check that next. Next, I'm going to measure the coil resistance, and to do that, I'm going to set this multimeter to ohms, and we're going to set it to 200. And if we look here, we have two little pins on the electrical connection to the solenoid itself, and that's where we're going to put the leads from the multimeter to test the ohms. An acceptable range is usually between 8 to 12 ohms, so that's what we're going to be looking for here as we test it. And you can see we are at 8.3. So we're, we're on the low end for this one, but it is the acceptable uh, ohms reading for it. Lastly, we need to make sure that the solenoid is not grounded. So leaving it on the 200 ohm setting, 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to ground this onto the actual bracket itself. And then taking the positive lead, we're going to touch each one of these, the prongs, and we don't want to be getting any reading at all. Because if we do, then it's, it's bad. So we can see that one's good. We'll do the other one. And we're not getting anything on that one either. So we know that that's also passed on that one as well. So on this solenoid here, everything checked out. We made sure that it was getting voltage. We made sure that it was responding properly when voltage was applied to it and it opened and closed properly. We tested the ohm settings on the resistance. Everything was good. So this solenoid is, is all set and ready to go. I hope this video helped you out as far as the information given on how to test a solenoid. I hope that it helped you out with any projects you're working on. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.